president yesterday morning, Democrats and Republicans reached an important agreement to move forward on three bipartisan, underlined bipartisan appropriations bills. Milcon VA, Agriculture, Transportation, HUD. We'll begin voting on amendments as soon as this afternoon and keep going through the rest of the week and into the next. It is my hope that with bipartisan cooperation, we can wrap up our work on these bipartisan appropriation bills sometime next week. And this will be the Senate working as it should, both parties cooperating, debating amendments, working through differences, without grinding the legislative process to a halt. Democrats promised our Republican colleagues that their voices would be heard, and we're making good on that promise. Forty amendments will be considered, many of them bipartisan, on issues ranging from telehealth, funding for veterans, fixing infrastructure hit by natural disasters, to investments in rural America. We work closely with Republicans to put these appropriation bills together. If passed, the bills will make a huge difference for American farmers, for our infrastructure, for housing, and for our military bases and veterans. Bipartisanship isn't easy. On the contrary, these days it's exceedingly difficult. But we're moving forward thanks to the good work of our appropriators, especially Chair Murray and Vice Chair Collins. They've set the tone from the start here in the Senate that bipartisanship should lead the way. It was true in the Appropriations Committee. I hope it remains true here on the floor because we're going to need bipartisanship in all that we do during this time of divided government. Bipartisanship will be essential for passing these appropriation bills. Bipartisanship will be essential for keeping the government open in less than a month. And bipartisanship will be essential for passing the President's national security request.